Welcome to Vintage Sky Channel. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about two best high performance pre war Polish gliders. First of them was called PWS PWS 101. Uh, PWS stands for Podlaska Wytwórnia Szybowców, this means uh, Glider Works of Region of Podlasie. And this glider was designed by Wacław Czerwiński and Bolesław Wiśnicki as a Polish competitor for international gliding competition in the Rhein-Wasserkuppe in Germany. Uh, this competition was later considered um, the first uh, world gliding world championship. PWS 101 was a high performance cross country wooden glider. Uh, initially it was called Rekin, which means shark, but later this name uh, was not used. It was uh, used for the other glider which succeeded the PWS Stoyen. Uh, during uh, Wasserkuppe competition, uh, cross country flight of the greatest um, distance was achieved by PWS Stoyen. Uh, flown by Piotr Minarski uh, on a route from Rhin to Hamburg. Later PWS 101 gliders succeeded in many uh, competitions in Poland and abroad and uh, one of those gliders was presented uh, by Poland on International Paris Air Show in 1938 which you can see right here. In the same year 1938 there were successful cross-country flies in Poland. Pilot uh, Urban achieved the distance of 426 kilometers and Witold Kasprzyk 476. But there was one very distinctive cross-country flight uh, made by Tadeusz Góra, who took off from Bezmiechowa in uh, southern Poland. This is a gliding site in the mountains. And he said uh, possibly as a joke that oh I'm flying uh, to my mother to uh, Vilnius uh, for dinner and it was obviously very funny to say something like that at that time even today uh, but uh, he actually did it and he completed a cross-country flight on a distance of 578 kilometers between Bezmiechowa and Soleczniki Małe just next to uh, Vilnius. Uh, and for this flight he was awarded a Lilienthal medal, the highest um, possible award in gliding sport and uh, he was awarded it by the FIA in uh, January 1939. The PWS 101 was a beautiful wooden and canvas covered glider, here you can see it in flight uh, you can see the transparent wings, this is a proof that uh, those elements were covered in canvas, not in wood. You can see the beautiful internal construction, the classic construction of, of the wing. It was the first Polish glider with water ballast. Uh, some uh, PWS 101s had um, well, the tanks for uh, water in wings, they took 40 liters of water. It was also the first a glider with spoilers on wings. Its wingspan was 19 meters, uh, weight 185 kilograms and total takeoff weight for the version with water ballast was 312 kilograms. Glide ratio was 26.1 at 63 kilometers per hour so pretty decent flight characteristics but still not the best achieved by Polish gliders in the 30s before the outbreak of the Second World War. Uh, PWS 101 gliders were taken over by the Soviets uh, after the outbreak of war and they were used by them and at least one was taken over by the Nazi Germans and here it is shown uh, in uh, the use by the Luftwaffe uh, in 1940. The picture was taken in the airfield of Krosno in Poland. After the success of PWS 101 uh, designers uh, Wacław Czerwiński and Józef Niespał um, designed a development version of it which was called uh, PWS 102 Rekin. Rekin means shark. This glider was created in 1939. It was similar in size to its predecessor yet heavier with 260 kilograms of weight and 350 kilograms of total takeoff weight. It was test flown on May 18th, 1939 in Skniów near Lviv. 
and uh, tests were successful uh, even the glide ratio was higher than calculated and it was 29.5 at 76 kilometers per hour so a very good result for the 1930s the, the end of 1930s in fact after minor changes to canopy and ailerons a production version was designated PWS 102 bis Rekin. In fact, here I have a reprint of the leaflet which advertised PWS glider and here we can read about its flight characteristics. We can uh, read that it had flaps which could be used for thermaling at lower speed before the uh, cross-country uh, straight flights. And we also see that it had a detachable dolly on which it could take off and later it would land only on the skid. It had no fixed uh, wheels uh, of the undercarriage. And what was new, it had a self-connecting flight control push rods. So during assembly of the glider, they just clicked on and could be used. First five gliders were ordered to be built uh, during holidays of 1939 and the first production glider, or two as some say, uh, were finished just few days, literally few days before the outbreak of the Second World War. So this glider was never flown uh, by Polish aeroclubs or pilots. Uh, the, the, uh, the finished ones were not shipped to uh, users. Uh, instead, they were taken over by the Soviets uh, the ones which were not completed were finished, they were transported to Moscow where they were used and um, they had pretty good opinion of pilots uh, who flew them. And so this is it for uh, the Polish pre-war uh, high-performance gliders. Uh, during the war obviously no new constructions were built but after the war uh, there was another outbreak of beautiful history of Polish gliding which I'm about to uh, bring to you in next episodes of Vintage Sky. I'm Marek, thanks for watching.